Hello and welcome back to Rolls Law Gaming and today we will be doing something highly requested and that is a how to install FIFA Manager 2019 update which have been asked for since we started that same series. Things that you need is of course a copy of FIFA Manager 2013 or 2014, so one of the latest two games on your computer. 2014 is the same version as 2013, the only difference is in 2014 it was updated with uh, players and everything like that, so the database were basically updated but no, no new features there. So it doesn't matter if you have 2013 or 2014, just so you know. And you find the update here, uh, as I have already entered the website here anyway and I have the Chrome extension as is here so you it's not the correct address here but I will have the correct address in the description and the details on exactly how to do and everything so check that out for links to everything and uh, information what I say here also if you miss something so anyway this is the link and you will see uh, the whole file structure for the update so basically you can either choose to sync the update here and they are actually updating uh, this patch as well quite often so there is uh, updates dates from time to time uh, so you can check that out and I, uh, I will do updates uh, videos on that as well if you want to when a new update is out or anything like that and I will do of course for season 2020 as well if they are going to do that in this patch or another patch that is for season 2020. Anyway what you will see here and uh, is season 2019 and as you see there is a uh, map structure here uh, that you don't really need to care about so either you choose uh, the whole thing and uh, choose import to my cloud or sync it or you can download as a zip or also right click it and download uh, that's the last option and here is the link actually so here this is the link and I will copy that into the description as well so you don't need to write that uh, from from what you see here so you can copy it yourself once you have actually downloaded the files I have already done that as you know uh, I have it here in downloads you go to FIFA M installs so it's actually a folder about seasons 2019 so it's called FIFA M installs so you might have that and then you go to season 2019 you enter the season 2019 installer and you have readme options here for in English and in Russian as well so basically you just follow every information you ha have here so you take the first two options and then you choose if you have FIFA manager 2013 or 14 and then cho choose the uh, exit pass to the game so for action you just choose the folder actually so you don't choose the the exe file you just choose the folder and here you see I have the update one but there is actually a update two that is out so you will have uh, update two and you will have the option to choose to install update one two or patch with all updates so for you if you install it first time it would be install patch with all updates so that will get you everything so we'll install a full patch with all updates as you see here so I've done that already so you don't we don't need to go through that so once you have done that you can get a few problems with the game uh, the game not starting and you can see here uh, a little bit information about the uh, patch database here uh, so they have a discord server where you can ask uh, questions or anything like that as well uh, so you have, have the address or the link here and I will add that in the description as well uh, so you know Anyway, you, as I said, you can have some problems with the game here, so you will have a couple of uh, options 
regarding that so you can have a problem getting the games to start and for that you can have uh, fix it by a couple of ways so there is three different things you can do uh, the first one is uh, change the name of the exe file so if it doesn't work for you try to add an extra dot and then try to start it if that works that's fine then you don't need to do any other change so for me it actually works like it is uh, or Actually, the second thing that you can try, and try all these things separately, is to go with the properties and compatibility and run the program in uh, Win7 mode. Uh, that can work out as well. And the last thing that could be something to do to try and uh, get the game to work if it doesn't work for you, is to rename the D3, D9 file, so the direct X9 file, I believe it is. Uh, anyway, so you change that name to uh, winm, uh, winmm.dll, as you see here. So those are not needed. And uh, you enter, and then you try to run the game again and see if it works. So if no, of the, <laughs> no option of these three ones work for you. Uh, try to uh, contact uh, contact the makers on the Discord server, and I think they will help you out uh, very gladly. And the last thing that you can have trouble with, and I had quite a lot of trouble actually with uh, when I run the game, the game got stuck in German and I don't really know German at all. Sure, I've read it a little bit in school, but uh, that was a long time ago and uh, it's definitely not the way I want to play the game. So actually, this patch is uh, compatible with the all the languages that are in the game so but there is no option in the game to change the actual language so you got to do it by this locale in the file so I'll show you that as well so you open this one uh, with a notepad or anything else as you see here I have uh, opened it in notepad and you have the available language uh, in uh, this text so you can have it in English, Spanish, German, French, Italian or Polish and you then type in the here uh, the action <laughs> language you want so I want English and then you type ENG in text language override so once you have done that everything will run smoothly I uh, just thinking here if uh, there were more things that uh, needed changing. I don't know. I don't think so. And the text language override overrides everything, I think. But uh, if you're unsure and still have trouble, uh, change these two uh, languages as well for the text language and install language to English as well. And once you have done that, everything should be tipped up for you to run the game FIFA Manager 2013 with the 2019 patch update or database update. So go out there and enjoy and uh, have fun with the game and uh, remember to smash that like button and subscribe button to make sure so you don't miss out on any of the new content that we bring to you daily here at Roslo Gaming and of course any updates to this very special and nice patch uh, of FIFA Manager. So I will get you, keep you posted on any updates that are coming your way or, or way with updates to this uh, database. So that will be everything for this episode. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.